this mission to Haiti, the mission that the Kenya government wants to get involved in, of taking our innocent police officers to Haiti, must be looked into. If at all, we mean well for our country and its citizens. I saw some protocol being signed in State House yesterday between the Kenyan government and the government of Haiti. First and foremost, as per the recent court order, the recent court judgment, we are yet to meet the basic conditions that were set out by the court. It is truly. First and foremost is the question of reciprocity. It doesn't just call for signing some papers. No, we must prove that in Haiti, in the Haitian law has got similar provisions as the Kenyan law insofar as the participation of Kenyan police officers outside the country. But more critically, as we speak, there is no legitimate government in Haiti. So whoever came here calling himself a prime minister of Haiti is not legitimate holder of that office. And therefore, the Haitian government, as we speak, has got no capacity, legal capacity, to enter into any contractual obligation with any other country, either bilaterally or multilaterally. And you could see, as the gentleman was signing some papers in State House in Nairobi, the Haitian militia were warning him not to go back. Which prime minister can be told not to go back to this country? Don't, By militia. Don't come back. They told him, don't, don't dare leave Kenya to come back to Haiti after signing those papers with root. Can you imagine? These are not just jokers. These are serious militia. Because about a year ago, they killed the president in State House in Haiti. They went to State House in Haiti and killed a sitting president in cold blood. They are now sounding a warning to the person calling himself the prime minister not to go back to Haiti. Now, if they can declare their own prime minister in court, persona non grata, what of our helpless police officers who will be living here in their thousands to go to Haiti? A country that doesn't even speak English. They don't speak English, by the way. They have no idea about Kiswahili. So how will these children of ours uh, survive in Haiti? How? What is it that is driving the Kenyan government to insist on taking these police officers to Haiti? What is it? Is it pressure from outside? Or is it mere pursuit of money? What is it? So it is not a too late. I want to appeal. I want to appeal to Honorable William Root to rethink this decision, to review this decision, and indeed to resign this decision, because we are likely as a country to suffer immense losses, untold losses, if this mission takes off.